Hi, welcome to this Mark's Reviews and Tutorials video. You're gonna get me having a bit of a sook today. I'm gonna to answer the question, should I buy a uh, saltwater chlorinator system that it automatically adjusts the pH, or automatically adjusts the chlorine? This guy here has got a chlorine sensor, a probe, a pH probe, so that it's measuring the water as it's coming through the filter, and then automatically dosing acid through this little pump here, and turning the chlorinator cell off and on. The idea being and the theory being that you will always have perfect pH and perfect chlorine level. When these guys are brand new and they start out, that's what you get. My issue, and these are expensive, they are they really put the price up way over what you get a, a, a good quality saltwater chlorinator from. My issue is that two years on, have a look at this here. Um, build date September 2019. This is not old. We are April 2022 right now um it's a pre-covid cell we've just gone through covid but it's just a couple of years old this one the chlorine level because of this automated system should never be above about three parts per million it's over 20 parts per million it's running the chlorinator way too much i've adjusted it down it's still doing it it just isn't working now it's not like oh one out of the blue this is what i find all the time with these things there's at least five i've come across on different regular cleans and they are just forever playing up. The acid um, feeds out of a big drum. And the catch here, if it plays up on the acid, which it has again now, I've got more um, pH buffer going in because the total alkalinity is too low because it hasn't, it's been feeding in too much acid as well. It's gone through five liters of acid in the month since I was here last. So it's feeding too much acid and it's making too much chlorine. I just find these things get beyond two years and they just don't work anymore. And I was told when I rang up, that, now that's not just this brand, I'm not just picking on Astral because they're all the same. Um, lots of different brands that are selling these. I personally just don't think we've got the technology yet, particularly the stuff that's got to be outside in Australian conditions, in the sun, in the rain and everything else. It just doesn't have the robustness to keep on going. I'm still selling standard saltwater chlorinators. Have a look at the link up here. I sell a K-Claw got its inbuilt salt meter you can dose big doses a boost dose super chlorine dose all these functions have a look at that video they're absolutely rock solid really good build quality I mean have a look at this again when you open these they latch on the sides you see how that's broken that's not a one-off either that's pretty common to find that it sounds like I'm picking on this brand I'm really not there's lots of them out there but uh, I'm just really discouraged at the, how the failure rate of them and how they keep on going and the, the consequences of the failure rate. When that thing doesn't turn off, the chlorine's over 20. You don't want you to put your kids in a pool where the chlorine level's over 20. And when this decides to pump a whole lot of acid in, then that's not particularly great to put your kids into either. It's just, yes. I'm selling the K-Claw. Have a look at the other video if you're looking to buy a chlorinator. I don't believe that we yet reach the time it's as i said it's march 2022 so maybe that'll change in time but even when it does i'm going to want to see those units two or three years old before i start recommending them and selling them um, because there's just too many hassles super expensive to replace the probes <laughs> there was one what company was it i think it was astral i'm not sure i rang him and he goes la look it'll be the probe just switch out the probe and it, i think it was 500 dollars. just going off the top of my head here this was uh 18 months ago now and I said, well, look, are you sure? Because I don't want to go and replace a $500 part. Oh, that's where you start. So he's wanted me to go to the customer, paid a couple of grand for this probably, and two years later go, oh, just spend 500 bucks on another probe and we'll experiment and see what happens. It's not the sort of pool work that I want to be doing. So yeah, they're great. And for the first couple of years, I think they're brilliant because everything's spot on, but then they start to fail. This one, they've had the um, people back, the pool builders back twice working on it. I don't know if they've had Astral back or not, but I know they've been trying to get it fixed. Uh, and here we are a month later, the chlorine's just super duper high. And the pH is actually okay. It's a little bit low, but the alkalinity has been knocked out because it's been adding too much because the whole five liters has gone in. So it's just a mess. So if you're looking to buy one with an automated system, my advice is don't get one with an automated system yet. That'll come. Or if you've got the money to replace it every two, three years, go for your life, get one. But if you're wanting something that's going to last the long haul and be good and resilient and last, I don't think we're quite there yet with systems with probes and all the different systems that are out there. There's not yet one that I'm convinced is robust enough. That's why I'm selling the K-Claw. 
brilliant unit. It just means coming into summer, you've got to adjust it up a little bit every month and coming out of summer, you adjust it down a little bit every month, that it's not gonna overdose and put a whole five liter bottle of acid in your pool and it's not gonna overdose and make your chlorine level go over 20 parts per million. So great unit, I recommend them. They're robust and yeah, Mark's pool, the Mark's pool and spa service, that was 20 years ago. Nillenbeck pool and spa service recommendation is uh, it's, we don't yet have the technology to get something that's gonna last. They are lasting and working good for a couple of years. Beyond that is when my experience says we're not quite there yet. We need a bit more robustness. So there you go. I'll put a link in the description. If you wanna buy one of those K-Core coronators, have a look at the video where I talk about it, why I recommend them, because the build quality is so good. And uh, I'll put a link.